Step, uh, leave off where we, uh, or start where we left off. Leave off where we started. That makes absolutely no sense. So put this back in. Inside, inside, or the inside part first of the controller. Just put it in there. Tilt it up, and it slides back and forth. Next thing you want to do is the spring. Put the spring inside the uh, controller first. I found that easier. Don't know why. Um, but I just put it in there a little bit, and then I use the flathead to, you know, connect the two. Just by kind of pushing on it as I bend it up. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, it kind of just goes in there like that. Now, to put this back on, what I like to do is I just push it in. That's it. Just like that. Now this works, but the controller won't work. Or the toggle won't work because you need to pull this up. So, for this, I haven't really found like a great way to do this yet. Um, I know right on the side over here, there's like a thing to pull it up with. So I guess you can do that. Or what you can do is on the inside of here, you have to be very careful where the thing runs along. You can put a screwdriver in there, but like I said, I'd, I'm not too fond of doing that because if you bend it or anything like that, your controller will stick when you pull the trigger. So wedge a screwdriver underneath in there and then use your finger or fingers to kind of just uh, wedge this back in there. But like I said, I don't have any fingernails. So I'm just going to use a second screwdriver. Pop right back in. That's fine. Awesome. Good to go. Now, that this is all back together, set this off to the side again. Come back to this. You want to make sure you put all the buttons in. I know people like to try to put the buttons in the wrong spots and, you know, oh, look, the, you know, the Y is in the wrong spot, that type of thing. It doesn't fit. Everything has its own personal little groove, so you have to put everything back where it was. And you just put it in there, you just spin it around, you'll, you'll feel a drop in. Where? Oh, dirt. There, just like that. This thing has to go back in there. Uh, there's grooves for this as well. There's one on the back side, one on the front side. You'll know when it's in. That's it. Just goes right in there, and then Xbox button, same exact thing. Also has grooves on it. Let's see here. So then after that's there. Doesn't matter which way, which one you put in, uh, start and select. Both the exact same, they just only fit one way. So, now that that's all back together like that, next thing you want to do is, oops, I forgot about the D-pad. Forgive me, um, but now we can put the D-pad back in, I guess, really quickly. Push it in there, grab the front half, line it up in the front. And they just clip back together, just like that. And for the screws, just, you know. Okay, that was a bad idea. Never mind. There we go. For the screws, you can kind of just drop them back in, put them in however you uh, prefer. Other people use, you know, other methods. They have magnetized screwdrivers. That's what I would recommend. <clears throat> Definitely the easiest to work with, but... I was over at uh, Walgreens and I saw this kit for like two dollars and I figured, oh, why not? This is actually my first time using these. I usually use uh, other ones. So then we got to put these back on. This just kind of sits on here. Uh, you'll kind of feel it as it gets into place. There's like a groove on the bottom of the uh, Xbox button. This goes right back into that slot, just like that. And if your controller's down, you'll feel it. And you'll be able to see it kind of, you know, lift up a little bit. So just be careful. You don't want to push it up too high and then it doesn't sit the controller in right. Next thing I would like to do, putting this back together. Now, I was talking about how I changed the sync button. Once you break the sync button off, you can't really just put it back. So what I do, I put it back where it belongs. And I use a small piece of tape. small piece here, hold it into place, and now tape your sync button to your controller, just like that. Leave a little room for you to grab it off. So now that way, when you put it back on and put it all back together, it's all in place. You just pull the tape off, you're done. Or if you want to, you can super glue it back into place, but like I said, I don't have the patience to wait for that. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like watching glue and or paint dry. So then this just slides right back on. 
nice and easy. And the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna put my toggle switches back on here, or analog sticks. Ah, uh, that's why. Okay. So this one was the one that was messed up. It's actually the controller itself, not the stick. Just saw, notice I have uh, tape on there. So I guess if I'm careful enough, this will all slide back on. Make sure you push it in, you know, just a good amount because this thing gets held on there and you'll feel it click in. So just give it a nice little, you know, make sure your hands are dry when you're doing this, by the way, guys. Um, come on, get back in there. Thank you. So, now that this is all back on, it's kind of hard to set down now because the analog sticks will, you know, raise it up. But uh, if you guys want to, you can try doing that. This piece can go right back on in here. Um, I guess you could probably benefit from doing this before you put this back in here. But like I said, I'm an idiot. And I forget things. Should have probably had everything just in order. Sorry about that, guys. So you put this on first, actually. Then you would put this in there. That makes more sense. Clips right in. All the buttons are, you know, settled in now. Still don't want to remove the sync button. The thing that the sync button kind of gets stuck on from time to time is um, the actual controller here. And if it were to happen, you could just take this, wedge it in there as you push it up because that's, you know, that was one other method I always had. I was like, well, I'm going to do this. So that also works. Not recommended, but it works. Last thing, putting this back on. Put it over the toggle buttons like this first, let it rest. And what you wanna do is you wanna push on these two springs. And if you look at it from this angle here, you'll watch the springs go into place. And that's it. Everything's back into place. Um, now all you have to do is putting the screws back in. Easiest way to do it, put these uh, four screws in first. You don't even have to actually put them in, but uh, those ones just fall in, so. Screw it back in really quickly here. Come on. Now, for these other ones, I don't know about you guys, I have, I don't even think I have big fingers, but I can't get, you know, two fingers in there to get it set up right. So what I do is I put it on the actual tool, like so, and I push my finger on here like this. And that seems to work out great, because I get it, you know, right where I need it to. The screw doesn't jump around. And that's um, how I've always done it. The one you have to be most careful with is... This one right here in the middle where the battery goes. You drop that, lose it in there. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out for you. Not only could you have to take the entire thing back uh, back apart, but I've heard of stories, or a story about uh, somebody who did that, dropped it in there, and then all of a sudden their controller didn't work. Somehow it shorted out, or who knows, it could have been something else. So, put the battery back in. Don't forget to take your tape off. And now... Everything works. Everything's back to normal. Push start or hit the Xbox button. And that's it. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day.